adding on to autograph collections since 2015. What's inside the BAM Geek Box, the monthly geek subscription service? I'm sure mostly known for their autographs, but BAM delivers a lot more than just that. Above and beyond the autographs, they're also delivering prop replicas, collectibles, and so much more. If you guys haven't yet had the chance to subscribe to BAM Box and would like to get all the things I just finished listing, you can click the link down below or you can simply go to www.thebambox.com and choose the best BAM Box for you, as there certainly is a lot of stuff that they cover off over on their website. Personally, I'm a big fan of BAM Geek Box, and you certainly know I'm a big fan of the BAM Horror Box, but they cover a lot of other BAM subscription boxes there. I would certainly encourage you guys to check out their website when you get a little bit of time. We're going to spend a little bit of time, though, cutting up the newest box, at least cutting the seal on the front of the box, to check out and inspect the contents inside. And I hope you guys will join me along with that. We're going to go ahead and grab, of course, a knife. A knife's always crucial, of course, when it comes to slicing the tape on the front of the box. Bam, by the way, did you know? Get featured on our website, take a selfie with your favorite items, and post it using hashtag Bammer. I suppose I could take myself a selfie, but I'm really just a camera after all with a pair of hands. That'd become rather difficult. We're going to go ahead, though, and cut the tape that's on the front of the box, just like so. Just like so. There we go. And let's see what we got going on inside for the newest Bam box course inside one thing that will be treated one thing you'll be treated to is tissue paper unless somebody calls it right now five four three two one we're gonna put that in recycling instead right now somebody is like ah, i really wanted that ah next time next time too slow checking out the contents though the first thing we're gonna have a look at is a little tiny ant-man you could say this is to scale it's a bam geek pin of ant-man it's a collectible enamel pin. Featured on the back, this is an exclusive singular run pin set that once these pins have been made, they are vaulted and never made again. Promsies. I can't really make that Promsies because I don't make the box, but I'm going to assume that's Promsies also from BAM. That's pretty cool. I'm going to add that to my collection of pins. Don't really have a jean jacket to put that on. We got ourselves another pin also in here as well. Slightly larger. This is just the head of Ant-Man. I don't know why we specifically got two. Is this maybe making up for some lost territory? As it has been, I think, two times, possibly even just one time before. We definitely didn't get ourselves a pin, so maybe they're throwing in, making up for short work. Two pins. Always like that. Also got ourselves uh, a pendant. I'm looking at this. I, I don't know if I would say it's a pendant. I suppose more, more a necklace than anything else. Let's open this up. It is metal. It looks really familiar, like I would have seen it something from, like, Flash Gordon. I'm going to guess it's Flash Gordon. I could be completely wrong. And if I am certainly wrong, somebody will tell me down below in the comments section. God bless you for that. Yeah, it is certainly metal. It does have a metal chain. And it's been painted rather nicely with a center. Oh, there's me. Hi. Hi, me. Oh, apparently I do have... I ex ex exist more than just a camera and a pair of hands. I have to tell my parents about that. On the back, you can see they've really done a nice job of kind of brushing on an additional paint coat to it. I'm going to guess Flash Gordon. Am I right? Am I wrong? We'll know soon enough. Put that to the side. Also contained inside, we've got ourselves an art print. Um, <laughs> I thought it was like that. That's that's not Batman. It actually looks like something else. There's Batman. That's Batman. That's what we wanted to look at. That's an interesting looking print of the new Pattinson Batman, who at the time of, well, not him during this time, but at the time of shooting this video, the person that's currently behind the camera, that's me, has not yet seen Batman. If you have, let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think of the movie. But avoiding, of course, spoilers, please. We don't need spoilers. Spoiler-free territory here. But that is Batman. You can you can tell by the ears there. It's not supposed to, it's not supposed to go, it's not supposed to go that way. And it's actually been signed. It looks like it's been signed by the Phantom. He's apparently doing artwork on the side of haunting operas. And then, of course, on the back, you got your certificate of authenticity. That's always good to have. See what else we have in here. Along with this, we should, of course, be getting ourselves an autograph print. Oh, Kristana Loken. I didn't even have to look at the reveal card to know exactly who that is. That's Kristana Loken. From, I guess, the most notable. I mean, she was in Blood Rain, too, but nobody remembers Blood Rain. No. 
No, we don't want to remember Kristana Loken from Blood Rain. We want to remember her as the Terminatrix from T3. I think pretty good Terminator film. If I wrote, was if I was to rank them, of course, after T1, T2 being the superior films, and then sort of what we got fluff wise afterwards. I think T2, T3 stands up pretty good. The only thing I wasn't really as big of a fan of is the fact that Nick Stahl came in to play John Connor. It was missing the fact that there was Edward Furlong. Edward Furlong probably was spending a lot of that that, that time uh, probably out cold. Probably not even remembering what he was doing at that time. Nick Stahl, not a great actor. He was okay in The Faculty. Certainly not good as John Connor. Kristana Loken, Terminatrix. Meow. Nice picture. And to go along with that, what else we have going on here? The featured celebrity, of course, we already know who that is. It's Kristana Loken, everybody, from Blood Rain. Oh, and she was also in The Name of the King, A Dungeon Siege Tale. I think I may have also seen that as well. Did it star Ron Perlman? And I think it also starred, oh, that guy from The Transporter. Drawing a blank right now. He was in that. He was in that. I think I actually bought that movie. I bought it. I didn't rent it. I think I've only seen it all of one time. Can't remember who that is. Terminator 3, though, I think is the thing that she's best known for. Kristana Loken. To go along with this, we, of course, got ourselves the insert card for February 2022, making up for some lost time. Uh, let's see here. The autograph was Kristana Loken. A couple of different ones to choose from. I think, I honestly think, and I'm not just saying it, I'm not just saying it because this is the one I got, but I actually think that that's the nicest print. There were these ones here as well. This one here actually does have Arnie in there too, but I kind of like that one. kind of like that one. Prop replica, by the way, is a niche witch necklace from The Witcher. Okay, I was completely wrong. Now I'm going to have to see The Witcher. Who was in The Witcher? That wasn't Nicolas Cage, was it? Probably wrong. So it, wasn't, it wasn't Nicolas Cage. Enamel pin set. We got ourselves the Christina Cotel's Ant-Man. Two of them. More larger scale, still not one-to-one, -one, and then a slightly smaller scale would fit in well with his ant friends. And then the art print we got from Pharaoh Lauren of the Batman. Oh, for the Batman. Of the Batman. A favorite thing in this, I think, would actually be the autograph from Kristana Loken. Only simply because I don't, I don't think I've ever seen The Witcher. Now I'm going to have to go and find that. Find that movie. Maybe it's on Netflix. I hope it's on Netflix. I really don't hope I have to buy it in order to see it. What was your favorite thing? Let me know down below in the comment section. What was the best thing in this month's BAM box? Uh, certainly as well, if you guys are interested and would like to subscribe to BAM, it's simple. It's easy. You can click the link down below in the video description. Not only uh, not pressuring you, certainly not pressuring you to get the geek box specifically, but I would certainly encourage if you guys are interested in getting proper replicas, huh? art prints, huh? pins, yes, and... Not necessarily Kristana Loken's autograph, but an autograph of a celebrity. You can click the link down below that will take you on a Bambox's website. And from there, no pressure to choose Geekbox, but certainly pick out a Bambox that's best for you. And while you're certainly in the market of subscribing, you're feeling generous right around now, and you're enjoying, I hope, the content that you guys have been seeing as of a while, as of the little while, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Turn the bell notification on and come back, please, because while well, we have wrapped up things right now for a BAM Geek Box unboxing, promsies, there are going to be more videos coming your way in the not-so-distant future. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.